Hi everyone, in a short video I'm going to talk about some new features that we have in uh, automated machine learning in Power BI service in Dataflow. So uh, just a review uh, from the previous uh, videos, uh, we able to do AI in Power BI service if you have a uh, premium account not in your my workspace but actually you need to create a new workspace and you will see the premium uh, feature will be activated there so i'm going through there i'm click on data flow and i'm going to import a data from my blob storage i want to do machine learning using automated machine learning and i will show you the new features of the feature selection that we have there so add a new entities and then here i'm going to get my data from uh, data is csv and i'm going to get the data from blob storage so i put the data here get the data from csv it's take a couple of seconds to load the data and i just put it titanic feature selection so here is the same i'm not going to talk about here just uh, Put a proper name for that save and close and uh, actually now after this refresh the data i'm going to apply automated machine learning on my data set titanic feature selection so as you see there i never i didn't uh, remove any columns so all of the columns that i have for titanic was there and i'm going to predict people will be survive or not so the column that i'm going to predict is survive column so after this data has been refreshed which is now i'm going to apply automated machine learning so add a machine learning model through that so this is the name and i'm going to predict the survive column so as you see here the new things that you will able to see the data type that you have so there's a whole number decimal number you can see the ticks and the other information there so i'm going to use that one and now i'm able to choose the model so here is actually uh, you able this is a kind of the new changes so if you want to do the binary prediction that means that your data type should be true or false data set you can actually convert it here so you can choose the select value to predict and report label for the true outcome and the report uh, label for the output i'm going to use the general classification for this problem and when i choose that the interesting thing that you can see is happen here these are the list of the attribute that i'm have for predicting people survive or not you see that some of them has been choose some of them not the one has been choose actually have the label as recommended feature recommended feature but the other one is actually has low correlation like passenger id so also you can uh, look at the some of the other uh, explanation like high cardinality or low correlation that means that we shouldn't consider them for feature selection so this is a kind of the new things that we have there which is really good kind of help you to choose between them so also you able to choose which one and uh, uh, and also to make kind of change through that or back again and change the data that you also, if you want to back to the data set, you can click on advanced configuration and it navigates you to the original data set that you have here. So I'm not going through that. So these are the data and you're able to put a name for that. So Titanic feature selection one and saves and refresh. Uh, uh, it actually take time i already shows that one now i'm going to show you some interesting parts of the evaluation so uh, as you remember when we create the model it actually gives us a, a report so let's have a look on the report that we um, already created for that one for a conference named data soup so i just want to show you the report that is actually 
So for general classification, you're able to see a report. So here is uh, there are some statistics like how many data that we have, how many sample rows we have, how many rows of data we put for training, uh, and also how many iterations it's happened, and the final accuracy data. So also uh, on the training model, you're also able to see the different algorithm that has been applied on the data. So you see that this is a, one of them has the score of 80%. That was a light GBM classifier with this uh, parameter. The other one was this one with 86% again. And you can see also the lower one that, for example, that was a NB wrapper with a 78%. So you can see, have a look on the different algorithm that you have. And also you're able to see the uh, kind of the data feature that actually you have uh, that uh, the table shows the feature extracted from input that you provided. Moreover, if you back to the model pre performance, also you're able to see that how much rows have gone for testing or validating the data. Also, you're able to see a chart that's really interesting shows how much our algorithm is accurate. So the yellow one is how many correctly classify. So uh, this is prediction. The legend that you see here is a pre prediction. And here we have the actual value. So in a real world, actually, we can see that uh, that incorrectly classified. So people who uh, actually not survive or the label was zero, there are about 80% uh, percent of, of them correctly classified as they are not survived and 20% of them classified as they are survived, which is what's correct also for the scenarios that people survive we have about 75 percent we uh, the algorithm correctly classify and 25 percent that actually they are not survived so it actually helps you to kind of better analyze the results of your algorithm uh, more of all, uh, also you're able to see uh, the people sur not survive or survive uh, detail like precision error codes that predict as class zero or actually of class zero or not and also the recall so and also you can see the top influencer on that so the age of people has much impact than the gender of the people people who are not survived so let's analyze the people who survive so you see that again the as you see here uh, again uh, the people uh, actually, people who serve who survive, you can see the precision and recall for that scenario, and also the top uh, session for that one that actually houses impact. So these are the kind of the really good explanation that we have. So we able to uh, really easily see the accuracy report, and also we able to do the feature selection there and see which uh, factor has more impact on the data or. Not. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will post more videos about the new updates that we have in AI in Power BI. Thanks so much.